Oh my God, the shade. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle asked to fly on Air Force One after the Queen's funeral, but were denied by President Joe Biden. Oh, but the shade gets even worse, guys. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This is just breaking. I guess we're just getting this insight as uh, information is finally getting released that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex allegedly, allegedly wanted to fly with President Joe Biden on his Air Force One uh, plane after they attended the funeral last year. Now, this is coming in, uh, I guess, coming in from the Daily Mail. They asked to fly an Air Force One with President Biden. Uh, this is where it's coming in. We'll let's let's keep reading the recap here. Uh so they were denied. So as, first of all, the gall it takes to ask, like, oh, hi, uh, President Biden. Can we come on your private, you know, super secure plane with you back? Because, you know, we're kind of royals still. Yeah. Hey, you know us. Uh, the fact that they've been asked is just mind blowing that they thought, yeah, yeah, come on in. Come on, you two. Uh, like no concept of like what that might mean politically for Joe Biden, for America, for like security. No, no, there's to spring us on board. Uh, they were denied. Couple who stepped back as working members in 2020 wanted to fly back on the iconic plane, which is U.S. United States Air Force aircraft that carries the president of the United States. But the Duke and Duchess supposedly had the request denied by the White House. Prior to the Queen's death on September 8th, Harry and Meghan were visiting the U.K. for charity engagements, uh, with them then remaining in England after Her Majesty's funeral took place on September 8th. 19th and there they were showing their respect source has told mail online but the white house denied the request in case it caused a commotion and harmed the president's relations with the palace so in case there was any doubt where u.s the president everybody aligns with it is not with harry and Meghan. nope you guys can catch an uber or a ferry back home Go get on Frontier, Spirit Airlines. I don't know. Uh, the mayor reached out to the White House uh, for representatives, but no comment yet. According to the paper, Megan Harry's staff reached out so to the White House to ask if the couple could get a ride back, with them noting how it would have been a grand photo opportunity. <laughs> I'm sure. Guys, I mean, if this is real, this one seems a little bit more buttoned up. <laughs> hey, Joe, you can get a photo op with Megan and Harry. And help him get a ride back home in your private Air Force jet. Come on, man. Think of the press. Well, apparently, <laughs> President Biden thought about the press and realized, I don't want that press. <laughs> uh, I want nothing to do with you guys. In fact, can you stay off my plane, please? It's like I keep thinking of Harrison Ford, Air Force One. Get off my plane. <laughs> can someone help make me a, a, a mashup of... Him kicking off uh, Harry and Meghan. Uh, the paper notes that it was there was no that it was an immediate no from the Americans. With Biden staff recognizing it was a no go, with sources saying that there was barely any discussion on the issue, other than being a non-starter. So again, apparently they were trying to sell it to them. Oh come on, Joe! Great photo op. Come on! And they're like, no. I'm sure they didn't even get to Joe. The people before Joe, were like, are you guys on on something like? Harry, did you go back into uh, Courtney Cox's fridge or something? Because no. Another source then spilled the paper that Meghan Harry had been boarded the plane, uh, that Meghan Harry had board, have boarded the plane and flown back to the U.S. with the president and the first lady. Uh, it would have caused such a commotion. Wait, then spilled the paper that had they done that, sorry, that had they done that, it would have caused such a commotion and would have put a strain on their relations with the palace and King Charles III. This comes one day after we reported that the couple could be forced to trade their lavish lifestyle for something more modest and downsizing, etc. So, yeah, amazing. <laughs> amazing that they thought this was going to be something. But, uh, guys, it gets more intense because I didn't realize this. I guess I don't know if this part says breaking in news, but Jill also didn't attend the Invictus Games to avoid upsetting the Royals. So are the Sussex attempts to become political players in America faltering? It sure sounds that way to me. So not only do you have this attempt to get them to give you Air Force One as if you have any right to get that. Months earlier, First Lady Joe Biden had already been invited to attend Harry's Invictus Games, 
but the idea was killed amid concerns that the royal family may have been offended by her presence there. Both failed initiatives are understood to have been part of a campaign by the Sussex to gain political influence in the U.S. as they settled into life in California. Megan publicly advocated for paid family lead to lawnmakers in Capitol Hill and worked behind the scenes to connect with the Bidens. Daily Mail had come discovered from speaking to many current and former officials in the Biden administration and the British government. A couple tried a variety of methods, sources outlined a dateline, as well as wanting Jill to attend the Victus Games and getting that ride back after the funeral. Look, like... This is a lot. This, guys, they went to the queen's funeral. And while they're there, they were thinking about how to better themselves. They weren't mourning at the queen's funeral. They were like, hey, Joe Biden's here. Wonder if we could get on that plane. Yeah, that sure would help. Our political aspirations... I mean, if this is true, because again, I got to be careful. It's a source. It's not my source. If this is true, this is ugly, ugly at the queen's funeral. They're trying to network to get more FaceTime with Joe Biden on Air Force One. While mourning in their black attire. Oh, hey, Joe, can we catch a ride back? Oh, yeah. It's real sad. Hey, Joe, I want to talk to you about some stuff. <laughs> like, can you believe this? <laughs> I mean, good on Joe Biden. <laughs> I don't always like, I don't like any politician. I'm not here to bash Joe. I don't like Trump either. I don't like any of my, my political presidential nominees. Uh, but I will say you go Joe on this one. <laughs> Although I'm sure Joe had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sure this was all the people in control of Joe, just like every president has a bunch of people sort of leading the, the, the pack. Um, my God, I can't, I cannot get over how dumb these two are. They had the gall to go mourn his grandmother, the queen. And they tried to hitch a ride back on air force one. Now it's not like, Oh, Hey, we can't catch a ride. We lost. There's, there's, there's a uh, floods. We can't get out. Oh, please. Can you help us get back? No, I'm sure they had a flight back. They could afford a flight back. no, they asked here for, hey, can we get him with the president? Can we go home with him? Who asks that question? Oh, I'm just in shock. You guys, can you, like, who, can you imagine? I can't imagine being a celebrity, being a, anybody, someone famous enough. Even if I'm like King Charles, even if I'm the queen, you know, like, who on earth would have the right and liberty to ask? The president, yo, can I hitch a ride on your plane on the way back? Like you're some like <laughs> uncle. Hey, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. They're like Uncle Eddie in Christmas Vacation. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, hey, Clark, can I hitch a ride on Air Force One with you when he hit back? It's like so American, like so rudely stereotypical. Like, hey, yeah, I'll jump on the big plane with you. You got plenty of room in there, right? I know there's press on there. Hey, get us a little seat in the back, huh? Like, there's security protocols, and anybody who's on there has been cleared. There's so much stuff you have to do to get on the plane, let alone the whole awkwardness of, like, well, now you're putting them on the spot. You're putting the president on the spot of, like, really? Are you asking this for real? Uh, no. No, you can't come on the plane. In fact, aren't you supposed to be mourning? Why are you trying to make moves while you're mourning for your grandmother? Oh, my God, this is... Yikes, 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 yikes. And people wonder why we're still mad at these bozos. Again, if it's true, this these sources seem pretty intense coming in, dropping this. We'll look more into where this is coming from, but my goodness, this is everywhere now. This just broke all over. So expect to hear this everywhere. And just I'm just floored at the disrespect. Disrespect of asking during such a serious morning moment to go try to jockey political power to get access to the Air Force One jet. And then the just the cluelessness to think that you're going to get invited. Like, yeah, of course. That's what's in their mind that they think everyone, yeah, we're so important that we get to have a seat on Air Force One. 
<laughs> oh my God. Well, there you go. If you want to make sure you don't miss breaking news, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you really want to support us and our Royal coverage, we got a whole nother channel. I just loaded a really great video over there uh, that she's trying to make all the paparazzi fear her. What? Uh, we got daily uploads over there for your royalty and gossip. Make sure you click on over. I think it just went up. There it is. Fear me. Go check out the latest on Popcorn Palace as well. Our new channel dedicated solely to royals, but you'll still get some breaking updates here, obviously, as well. Uh, but we do other news. I hope you'll check it out. Check out our Dan Wooten piece. It's a good one. Please give it some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be live tomorrow. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.